Okay, this is the 9x18 Makarov, the Bulgarian Makarov. Budget without the ammunition. Right. <laughs> Greetings folks, Two and Proper here bringing you yet another in my series and it is with profound respect it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to the Pistola Makarov. This Pistola Makarov is a Bulgarian Makarov and its name is Daria. It's named after my oldest daughter because they're both born in 1989. They're both beautiful and they're both dangerous. So this is the Pistola Makarov from Bulgaria. This is the Bulgarian Makarov. This is an eight round semi-automatic blowback operated pistol that shoots the nine by 18 Makarov round. The Bulgarian Makarov. Now there's other places that make the Makarov. For example, and I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, but I think it's called the Ishevsk Mechanical Plant in Russia. If somebody can correct me on my pronunciation, that would be cool. Just be cool about it. It was also produced in Germany at the Ernst Thälmann factory in Germany. And it was also made in China by Norinko. And this is the Bulgarian Makarov, of course. It was made at the Arsenal AD plant in Bulgaria. So this is the Bulgarian Makarov. And it is a wonderful freaking pistol to have. Now, if you remember from my very first video on the Bulgarian Makarov, the Bulgarian Makarov arrives. Make sure you see that one. You'll see that this pistol was covered in Cosmoline. And when I tell you this thing was covered in Cosmoline, I mean, holy crap, was this thing ever covered in Cosmoline. But now I am very grateful that it was so covered in Cosmoline and the work was worth it because this is a very well preserved, no rusting, no corrosion pistol with not even a single scratch. So again, I think I got this one in unissued condition, brand new condition, because I don't think that this thing was actually in service with anybody. Look at that bluing. The pistol is just a shiny, beautiful piece. Wow. Now the reason I got this again was because it was only $299 and I like blowback operated pistols. I absolutely loved my Bursa Thunder 380. I always wanted the Sig Sauer P230 and 232. So this pistol right here was right up that alley. Like the Walther PPK. It's also similar to the Walther PPK. So they all have the barrel that's attached to the frame and I'll show you that when I take this thing down in just a little bit. But this pistol shoots the 9x18 Makarov round. Which is higher in potency than the 380 automatic but it has less potency than the 9 by 19 Parabellum. So it's kind of in between the 380 and the 9 millimeter. It is a very capable round. I got this because for one, I really like the way they look. I like that they came with the, uh, with the star checkered grips right here from the Cold War era, but I also like that it's concealable. It is quite concealable. And to give you some example of its size, here's the Glock 19. And you can see it's just a little bit shorter than the Glock 19. But it's a little bit taller this way, which is not a big deal. And of course, you can see the lanyard loop. And this pistol came with a holster and lanyard setup. So that's kind of cool, too, if you ever wanted to use it. But the 9x18 Makarov is even smaller than the Glock 19. And it is a little bit bigger than the Bursa Thunder 380cc. So as you can see, if you have the Bursa Thunder series pistols or if you have any of these, the Makarov is just a little bit bigger and considerably heavier at 26 ounces. But it's 26 ounces because it's got a metal frame. And it's quite a nice sturdy frame. The pistol is still very concealable. It fits in the waistband great. There's quite a few holsters that you can get for this. Not many that make them for Makarov specifically, but there are quite a few holsters that you can get for this pistol. Now, this is 6.36 inches long 
and it's about four and three quarters inches high. So that's the concealable part too, is that it's four and three quarters inches high. Not that much different from the Glock 19 and not too very different from the Bursa Thunder 380 CC, as you can see. Quite concealable and it's 1.16 inches wide while the Glock 19 is 1.18, which is almost no difference at all. Now, I recommend if you're getting the Makarov pistol and you wanna carry it, that you keep it on safe. And the reason for that is, is because the firing pin is sort of a floating firing pin. It's sort of, it's not on a spring, it's sort of floating. And it can, if dropped, hit your round hard enough to uh, set the round off. Now, I'm not sure that it's happened that many times, but that's what they recommend that you carry it in the safety position because that can very much happen. This hasn't been built with the same specifications with your drop safeties and stuff like that. This is built to old war specifications and they were required to carry it with the safety on anyway. So there you go. That doesn't bug me. You just have to train to use your safety. But the Bulgarian Makarov, it is 6.36 inches long and only four and three quarters inches high again, which makes this concealable. And that was one of the reasons, one of the prevailing reasons, aside from this thing being only $299 that I decided to get it. Glad I did. Now the Bulgarian Makarov was designed by Nikolai Makarov in 1948 and it was finally put in the service in 1951. So it had a couple year honeymoon, probably getting tweaked and everything like that. And then finally it got put in the service in 1951. But folks, that's 1951 to present. I mean, that's not bad. This is very worthy. It's a currently used gun. So it's still in use. That's saying something. But it is a very fun gun to shoot. But I cannot emphasize it too clearly or often enough how fun this gun is to shoot and how low the recoil is the recoil for this pistol and you would think with a 9 by 18 Makarov round being more potent than the 380 automatic that it would be very hard to take the negative the recoil for this pistol is very very tame it's a very graceful recoil that blows back into your hand and you don't feel like you're having the crap jarred out of you using it so it is a very nice very smooth recoiling pistol and follow-up shots with this pistol are very nice too. This has a great trigger as a matter of fact. Speaking of follow-up shots, and folks, I'm sure you've been able to surmise by now that this gun is empty. I never bring loaded guns to the table. I don't know how many times I gotta tell people that. Still, someone's gonna pop up in my comment section and rag on me. But here we go. The trigger right now is just a I would give this about a six pound, maybe seven pound trigger in single action. Okay, so there's a little bit of take up right here. And then, and then the reset, let's bring it up here for the reset queens. Primarily, they're gonna be disappointed because this is not a very loud reset, but here we go. Just a little bit. One more time, in case you didn't hear it. That looked like about a quarter inch. And, and again, this gun, you should carry it with the safety on, which is also a decocker. All right, and you get no action. The hammer is kept far away from the firing pin. And then of course, to operate the pistol, you have to throw it down, which is easy. When you see red, of course, you know you're on fire. And then the double action trigger pull is probably, ooh, I'll give that about 18 pounds. Yeah, right about 18 pounds, 16 to 18 pound double action trigger pull. So that's not bad, folks. You know, you know, this is a war era pistol. You're not gonna have the same refinements with this thing that you're gonna have with your, say, H and K USP or anything like that. So so you can't expect modern day performance out of an old war pistol. So it would be unrealistic to expect that of this pistol as well. But it carries well, it's easy to use, and it shoots very, very well. Now the 9x18 Makarov round has a muzzle velocity of 1030 feet per second. That little guy right there. 
So that's not too bad. Again, that's a very capable round. Now, if you're thinking about getting the Bulgarian Makarov, you can expect to pay anywhere between $300 to $350, maybe a little more if they feel like gouging you. Now, typically, if you get the Bulgarian Makarov from some places like Bud's Guns or whoever, you'll usually get it with two magazines, the leather holster and lanyard, uh, the maintenance record, which I'll have a picture of that coming up here in the uh, montage after this, but the maintenance record, you'll get that. And uh, my maintenance record was filled out. This gun was very well maintained for its unused condition. And it usually comes with the black import grips, which of course I promptly removed and wanted to put on the red starred authentic type grips that it also comes with which were also coated in Cosmoline. So you just can't escape Cosmoline with this pistol. So let's just go ahead and bring it up for some very close-up gun pornography. Look at the finish on that. Now, I am told that you can tell what year this pistol is by taking 1960 and adding these two numbers right here, which gives me 1989. And this is the number in this production year. One, two, two, five. Christmas. Then, of course, there's the other production marks right here. The Arsenal production mark. And, of course, the import marks right here. PW Arms and Redmond, Washington. There it is. Arsenal, Bulgaria. Makarov, 9x18. And it is a very easy pistol to take down. Who wants to see it? Now, taking down the Makarov is very easy. What you do is you make sure that your gun is empty. And yes, you've been able to guess by now that the gun is empty. Still, someone's going to hit my comment section with the way I'm handling the pistol. You take your trigger and you move it off to the side just a little bit like that. You choose either side, but I choose this side. And then you pull back on your slide, lift up a little bit, and it comes off. It's a war pistol. It's designed to be durable. And just like your other blowback operated pistols, your Walther PPKs, your Burst Thunder 380s, your Sig P230s, the barrel is attached to the frame. That helps with accuracy, by the way. Now, putting it back is just as easy. You feed your spring into there, and you poke your barrel through. And then you find a spot where it's going to engage itself back into the frame. Get a little bit of feeling around here. There you go. Then it goes on. You bring your trigger back into position here, just like that, and disco. There it is. It's easy to use, easy to handle, and that's precisely the reason I got the Bulgarian Makarov. After having seen a lot of people's YouTube videos and reading enough about the Bulgarian Makarov, I decided to, excuse the pun, pull the trigger and get one of these because I just knew that I was going to like it, and I like it even more than I thought. So this is a very worthy piece for someone to get if they want to have a concealed carry pistol that is also very cool. This has the cool factor going. So this is a concealer and it's cool. So for those on a budget, yeah, I'd recommend this one. $299 for a pristine condition pistol just like this. It costs even less for the ones that aren't in pristine condition that are just simply in good condition. This one would cost about $299 to $350, and it'd be worth it. 9 by 18 Makarov, not a very plentiful round. I wouldn't say you're going to have the easiest time finding ammunition for it, but if you just want one kind of cool, unique pistol to carry, or even just to have, the Bulgarian Makarov is one great direction to go. So this is it. I'm too improper. My email address is scrolling across the bottom of the screen as we speak right now. That's too improper at gmail.com. Write and I will answer you provided you're not being a troll about what it is you have to say and if I've got the time. Thanks for watching folks. God bless America and keep on protecting your families and yourselves. I don't need to tell you how important that is. It's always the right thing to do.
Russian style.